So you want to start an e-commerce business, right? You are already one step ahead by watching this video. So in this video, I will share my best tips to starting your online business selling products, how to present your products to your audience, and most importantly, how and where to build your website for maximum conversions. Let's go. I have built many online stores during the last few years, and most of them, to be honest, have been built with Elementor. Why? Flexibility and design freedom. You can create anything you want from scratch, from the website header, footer, menus, to many other things, including your WooCommerce pages, shop pages, product pages, and so much more. You decide exactly how your website looks and what it does for the client. And whatever it may be that you want to create, something that just came up in your mind and you want to create for your website, you can do it so easily with Elementor. So let me show you my exact process when I'm building a new website for one of my clients or for my own brands, an e-commerce WordPress website using the Elementor e-commerce hosting. First, off to have a successful online business you need to understand that you need a niche and a brand so your brand needs to sell a certain type of products for a certain type of audience i suggest focusing on one niche to begin with especially if you don't have a lot to invest right now that will help you reach the exact audience that will love your product for example, customize teddy bears for kids, minimalist home decor items. Once you find what your brand is all about and how people respond to your products, then you can start adding more products in that same category depending on what your audience wants to see or buy from you. So let's assume you are starting a jewelry brand, a minimal jewelry brand for women. For this presentation, I will use stock images just because it's faster. But in general, what we do is take our client's products in our studio. We take product photos, videos of them, and we create their entire strategy for their website, social media, and brand identity. So when you're starting a new website, the first thing you need to think of is hosting. You need hosting and a domain. And with the Elementor e-commerce hosting, you get both in that same plan. So let's see what you actually get with this Elementor hosting. First off, you need to understand that the best hosting to use the Elementor Pro plugin, the design plugin, is an Elementor hosting option. They've obviously built the plugin. They know that the best hosting to support it is their hosting as well. So now they have an e-commerce hosting available for you to be able to sell your product on your website, on your WordPress website and have all the functionalities you need for that. So let's go ahead and see the e-commerce hosting plan that Elementor offers. So with any Elementor e-commerce hosting plan that you get, you are saving 72% in the first year. So it's only as little as $5 per month. So you have three plans, you have Cellcore, that is $5 per month, you pay $60 when you're first starting out, so it's amazing for small businesses. It includes the Hello theme and the Core Builder, but with the Cell Pro plan, you have the Elementor Pro Builder and a premium WooCommerce theme and WooCommerce Plus as well. So that is more convenient and I would honestly invest in this as you only pay $180. It has, again, the Elementor Pro Essential plan. It has unlimited products, unlimited landing pages, mega menu, form builder, and so many other things. And then if you want to really invest in this and create the best e-commerce business ever, then I suggest going all in and investing in your business because you have so many other things like a pop-up builder, related products, product ratings, and so many other things that you can do to create the best e-commerce website. So let me show you how these work and exactly how you can start building a website with Elementor and create the best website for your clients. So let's go. Now, when you're first designing your site, you need to be really careful because you're working with your product photos and those are the ones that really represent your brand. Besides your logo and your brand identity, color palette and everything else, you are working with the product photos that you have. So I would send those to a professional photographer to really start your brand professionally from the start. And you also need to make sure that that your product photos are also branded so not only they include your color palette but they also include your style exactly what you want your brand to speak or to showcase what your brand is all about so it is really important to keep these in mind when you're creating the product photos and again i suggest hiring a professional to do this for you now the next step you need to take when you're starting your e-commerce website with elementor hosting you need to create 
a few products um, so you need to add a few products in your shop and for that you need to go to plugins install WooCommerce if it's not installed yet and then you need to add your product so I'm going to show you the exact process of adding a product in your WooCommerce store so as I've said before the first step to actually building your brand is finding what your brand is all about. So we're talking about color palettes, logo, style of photography. I found a few stock photos I can use as an example, but it's really important for you to understand that all the product photos that you take must have common elements. So we will pick out of these stock photos, some that are very similar in editing, in just color palette, in style, and we will use these for an example website. So after you've chosen a few photos that you've liked, for example, you can go to Canva and try to create a logo for your brand. If you don't have any ideas for brand names that you can do, you can ask ChatGPT to come up with some ideas. But I've come up with a logo myself and I want to try and recreate it. So it's going to be a jewelry brand all about wedding rings and engagement rings. Something like this, but I also wanted to incorporate the infinite infinity symbol into it. The next step would be to start your website. So you go to Elementor with the link below and you choose your plan. Again, I recommend at least getting the Cell Pro plan because it includes a WooCommerce theme and many elements that you need for a website for e-commerce website. And then you can click create a new site or migrate an existing site. But because we're starting a new site, you can click create a new site. Okay, so once your site is ready, you can manage the website or go to the editor. And I want to manage the website first by going to websites because I want to see and add a domain with it. So you can click connect a domain. You can buy a domain, connect a custom domain or get a free domain. You can get free for a year. So you can just enter the domain you're looking for. So for example, tidebands.com so tidebands.com is available and you can get it for free for the first year so we're going to add it to cart once you add it to cart you can get it for free so once you do that it will get connected right here to your website and you'll be able to use it for your site now the next thing you want to do is actually go into your website and start editing so you can open the wordpress dashboard and here you see your website. So the first thing you might want to do is check your plugins and see if all the plugins that you need are installed. So you have Elementor, Elementor Pro, you have WooCommerce, you can install things like Google Analytics, Monster Insights, you can install plugins to import a demo. So you can just install this one. So you can also go to appearance and themes to see the theme that you have. You have Shoptimizer, which is a great theme for WooCommerce. So in here, when you go to customize, you can see general, you can see colors, header navigation, typography, layout, menus, widgets, WooCommerce, and more. So this is how it looks basically, but if you want to create it specifically for your brand, you will need to make some changes. Go to site identity and select your logo. And we're going to upload the logo we've just created. And for the site title, you can choose your own site title. So tied band. So it can be like that. And then if you go to, you can make it a bit smaller. Again, you can make it look nicer. I'm just showing you an example. To get the exact color that you want in there, just go to Canva, pick your color. So we're picking the exact color, we're copying the code, and when you go to header background, you just paste in the code, and it is the exact same color. Once you're done with those basic customizable things, you need to go to WooCommerce and products to actually add some products. When you're first setting up your WooCommerce store, you will be asked to add some business details, some shop details and all of these things. But 
you need to do these first and set up payments and everything else and then you can start creating product so when you list a product you need to add a product name so for example and then you set a product image and then let's add a price for you $90 for example and publish the product now I really want to import a demo okay so you go to appearance and import demo data to import a demo and you import the content that you want to just use a demo for this theme you can also use Elementor Pro to create your website the way you want but I feel like having a base helps you a lot more and then adding on top of that so then we've just gone to the website and you can see that the demo is already here with our settings that we did you have the menu you have everything here and it's a great great theme that you can use now we obviously want to make some changes because we want to make this our own but as you can see it has a footer it has everything you need but with elementor you can create anything you want so then you need to go ahead and create the pages so you need to create a plan for your website what the pages are going to be so you're going to have the home page you're going to have contact about privacy policy shipping and returns all those things but you also need pages for your collections and a main shop page where people can see all the products and have things like filters sorting options for your products and more to do that first things first you need to go to pages and create the pages that we talked about so you have contact us and all these things that Elementor already added for us. Then if you want to change something about the menu, you just go to appearance and menus and you optimize your menu just the way you want. The collection categories, as I said, products, and you add the products that you want in the menu and all these things. And if you want to create a new menu, you just need to create new menu from here. You select it from here. So for example, secondary menu, and you add any more details that you want in here. You add to menu and then you save it. So this can be a secondary menu. Now that you're ready and all your pages are ready, you can go to visit site. And once you do that and click on edit page, you also can edit with Elementor. So you have site settings or theme builder, but if you click on edit page first, it will lead you to the editor. And then from here for any page that you create, you can just click edit with Elementor and it will lead you straight to the Elementor Pro Builder that you can use for any page on your website. So you have so many sections in here. This is part of the header, but anything else that is not part of the header, um, you can start editing right now. So for the background image, for example, you can go to style and choose an image or choose the image from right here. So for example, you can just upload an image the best way to do this is with a um, background remover because it will show just as in the demo it will look a lot better but you can choose whatever you want and really make it your own this is so important about this theme it has so many customizable options so that you can make it your own and make it fit your brand let's say you can do this you can change the background colors do that and use the color picker to just pick a color that is more suited for your brand for example just go to style and choose the text color to white or to anything that fits your brand whoops and then for the button for example you want to choose a color that fits your brand so let's choose one from our photo such as this one right here so this is how you build a new online store with the elementor e-commerce hosting you find everything you need in one place with a super affordable price you can check out the hosting options below in the description and get the best offer for your business remember to keep at it and don't give up if results don't start coming in right away think of a new strategy every single day find professionals to encourage you and give you the best tips you can get grow your online business and keep at it and stay consistent thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to check out the e-commerce hosting by elementor in the description below and i will see you in my next video.